Hey everybody, Jessica and Peanut here. And today's workout is ballet inspired. So we're gonna be doing a lot of ballet inspired movements and we're gonna do some cardio and toning. So what you need to have is a chair with a back, something sturdy with no wheels on the bottom, and a set of light hand weights. I'm gonna be working with three pounds, but of course you can go lighter or heavier depending on what works for you. And then finally, you may need a mat depending on what surface you're working on. If you're on carpet, you'll probably be fine without it. So let's get started here with the warm up. We're just gonna begin with the feet together in our parallel stance. Shoulders are back, the abs are nice and tight. I have a little softness in my knees, and I want you to just turn your toes out and in. So I like to do this to start off our ballet movement because I want you to just naturally open up into your own turnout position. We never want to force the toes open. Just let that external rotation happen naturally from your hips wherever your toes open. Maybe it's just about 25 degrees. Maybe you go to 45. If you have more natural turnout, you can go all the way to 90. I've seen some ballerinas do that. It's pretty impressive, but don't force it. We don't want to torque the knees. Good, now let's keep the toes open and let's make that softness in the knee really deliberate. So let's take a plie here. This is our demi-plie position because our heels are staying on the floor. Demi mean half. We're gonna go into grand plies later. Good, so keeping the spine tall, the shoulders are connecting down your back, press them down to your hips. Let's start to get the upper body moving here. And we're just gonna take the arms down and then overhead. So I want you to think of making a nice strong shape at the bottom and at the top. Nice big circles here, nice length through the spine, opening the knees over your toes. And as your legs are extending, I want you to think about zipping the backs of your knees together. Really squeeze through your inner thighs. We're gonna do four more here. It's four. Good, three, nice, two more, and one. Now just hold it here. Let's take a flat back forward. I want you to hinge at your hips, opening the arms, keep the spine long. Now release down, roll down, let your head just fall to the floor, arms come overhead. Give me a flat back up. Press your hips towards me, open your arms, look at the ceiling, extend back. Ah, just opening everything up. Very nice. Keep your arms in second position and step your feet wide apart to second position with the lower half. Now, we're just gonna take a stretch out and over to the right side, come center, go left. So we're just easing into our movement today, nice and gentle to start. Good, now we wanna make sure that the feet are wide enough because we're gonna to start to do that grand pie I told you about. And we want to make sure that when we bend the knees, they go right out over our toes. So feel free to make some adjustments when we start doing that grand plie to keep your knees out over your toes. Here comes the grand plie. We're gonna do three pulses. Come up into that side stretch. Three, two, one. Take it to the side, that's it. Center, come up and squeeze. So I don't want you to feel any pressure in your knees. I want those knees opening right out over your toes. I want you to feel this in the thighs. Take it out of the bone and into the muscle where we want to work. Good. Down, two, three. Give me two more with this tempo. Going as low as you comfortably can into that grand plie. Now we're going to go for single counts down and up. Down, out and over. Good. Use the side of your body here to open things up and lift. That's it. Nice. Let's do four more right here. It's four. Up, three. Nice, two. And one. Now hold it center, open those arms. Back out. Give me that flat back forward. So we're gonna do a little port de bras. Down to the floor, around the spine. Flat back up. Push your hips forward, open those arms, extend back. Come back to the center. Let's take the hands to the hips and just give me a little toe tap. So now we're gonna do a little tendu, pointing those toes deliberately to the floor. Body's feeling a little warmer, yes? Good. Now let's keep pushing off the floor and actually start to lift that leg a little bit out to the side here. Good. Our arms are gonna come up. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Come through that center. 
bending the knees, open out. Good, a little bit quicker with the arms. We're gonna come up, two, and out. Two, come through your center and reach. We wanna get that heart rate up a little bit. And out, one more right here, and up, and out. Nice job, just give me that toe tap. Excellent, how we feel? Are we warmed up? Are we ready to go? Good, so from here, we're gonna take the right foot slightly forward and go keep that tap going, keeping the softness of the knees. You're gonna reach your right arm forward, come back in, forward, come back in. So I want you to just shift your weight, front and back, good. Now from here, we're gonna really lift off that back leg, lift it, tap it down, lift, tap it down, good. Opening up the chest, eight more. Seven, six, five, think ballet here. Four, nice and graceful. Two more, great job. Take it back to the center tap. Now we're just gonna turn around so that we change the front leg. I'm on a little different angle than you might be, but that's fine, just face whatever way. It's easy for you to see. Get ready. Let's add that lift off with the arms. Tap, lift, tap, lift. So you still have that nice shift forward and back, pushing off the back leg. And I want you to almost feel as if you were gonna do a little jump up. We're not actually gonna jump here, but give me that nice lifted energy right up through the crown of your head. Lift, good. Let's do four more, three more, two more, and one. Take it back to that side to side tap. How we feel, good? So heart rate should be elevated. We're not panting, we're not completely out of breath, but we're staying in a nice moving groove here. So we get that cardio effect, but we're also gonna continue to tone the body here. So I want you to go into that grand plie in the center, hands at the hips for now taking it down and up, really squeeze. Now we're gonna start to turn through your upper body. Turn right, now turn left. And as you twist, really pull your abs in tight. We're gonna add some arms to this, don't you worry. Arms come overhead, push side and side. So I don't have that much room behind me here to extend my back arm, but I want both of your arms to be totally straight as you push down. Good, that's it. Tall back. Give me eight more like this. Eight, seven, six, working the legs and the abs. Four more. Last two right here. Great work. Give me that toe tap. Just breathe, good. So from here, we're gonna go into a little side passe. So I want you to come into fifth position. Your right foot is gonna be forward, left leg is gonna be back. So you've crossed those legs, inner thighs are zipped. We're gonna bring the back leg forward, bending the knee to the side, pointing that toe to the inside of that standing leg. So we lift and lower, lift and lower. So there's a moment where you have to balance. So if you need to, you can grab a hold of your chair, pull it closer to you on this side, or grab a wall if you're near it. Anytime you need some help with our balance today, feel free to do that. Lift and lower, good. Arms are gonna come forward and out, forward and out, that's it. Lift and lower, keep that spine nice and tall. Good, it's challenging my balance today. Now, just in case you thought this was feeling a little too easy, you can give me a little releve in the middle. So that means we're gonna press up onto the ball of that bottom foot, lift and lower. So there's that little pause at the top just for a brief second. If that's too tough, you keep the heel on the floor. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Are you starting to feel this? I am. Good, give me four more here and lift, lower, three, squeeze those arms together, two, and one, nice job. Now let's just take a little plie, hold and pulse, yes, you're gonna squeeze that leg out to the side, brush front. 
take it out. Brush, two, three, and switch. Brush and switch. So you're gonna push off the floor as if we're doing that jumping energy again, but we're not leaving the ground. And squeeze. Brush, give me one more. So now we've switched the leg that's in front. We're gonna go back to the passe. So extend the legs, back leg comes forward, up, tap down, up, tap down. So right here, you're already working. The core is working to help you balance. That standing leg is engaged. We're opening that knee to the side, using those hips and glutes. Let's add the arms in, squeeze and open, squeeze and open. Keep that spine nice and tall for me. Take it up to the front, up to the back. Nice lift. Good, now again, this is optional, but if you wanna make it a little harder, come up into that releve, lift and lower. Good, now don't skip that little pause at the top, even though it's harder to hold it. I'm having a hard time too, because standing on your mat, it's a squishy surface, which makes it harder to balance. We're always up for extra challenge though, right? Good, lift and lower. We have four more, three more, two more, give me one more. Plie pulse, hands to the hips. Now we're gonna brush that leg out, cross front. Two, three, and change. Brush out, working through the foot to come off the floor and fifth position, good. My ballet technique is a little rusty. I haven't been in ballet class in a long time. And back, good. But the good news is you don't have to have any ballet training for this, right? Just make it work. Good. Now give me one more. Brush it front. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's come on over to the chair. We're gonna concentrate a little bit more on our lower half. So I want you to start with your fingertips light on your chair. Your toes are facing forward on that bottom leg, and we're gonna bend the knee. My chair is a little low, so I really wanna bend my knee. I'm gonna squeeze my elbows into my side, so keep your upper body really working. Shoulder blades are pulling back towards your spine. Back leg is super light. Just your tiptoe is tapped on the floor because we're gonna lift that leg up, tap down. So I'm hinging slightly forward from my hips. Nice long line through the spine here. Lift and lower, squeeze to that back cheek. Think of that leg getting longer as it comes up. Give me eight more just like that. Elbows are squeezing to your sides. Shoulder blades back and together. This is six. Five, point that back toe long. Four, three, upper body steady. Don't lean on your chair. Now take that leg up as high as you can. Flex your toes. Give me a little pulse. We lift. So as I'm lifting, I'm thinking about pushing my energy out through my heel. My toes are turned out. Good, keep that standing knee nice and bent. Elbows hugging the sides. Oh boy, are we feeling this yet? You should be feeling that standing leg too, yeah? Keep going with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna bend the knee towards the front elbow. We're gonna point the toe, flex the toe. Point, flex. So you kinda gotta think about that foot change. Point and bring the knee to your arm. And then as you extend back, push out through your heel for me. Tap, press, tap, press through the heel. Yes, good, try not to move that upper body. Elbows are still hugging in tight. Point, flex, point, four more here. Three, push, two, last one. Oh boy, hold it, hold it. Bend your knee, point the knee to the floor, flex your foot up. We're gonna trace a little circle out and around. Out and around. So I'm tracing the circle with my kneecap. Keep that foot flexed. Oh yeah, if you haven't found your glutes yet, you will on this move. Reverse direction, out and around. Out and around, focus on that circle. Big time feeling it in my standing leg too, yes? Four. Three, 
two, give me one more. Woo! Let's cross that leg over, sit back and stretch. Nice job, everybody. Guess what? We get to do all that to the other leg, so let's. I'm just gonna turn it around so I don't have to face you with my back. So we're gonna switch legs. Please make sure you switch legs. Do not do the same side twice. So let's set it up. Elbows in, abs tight, shoulder blades back and together, shifting the weight forward into that bent leg, nice and light on that back toe. Are you ready? Lift and lower, take it up, take it down. So this is not a kick. You're lifting, you're squeezing right back here. Raise it up. So don't let your low back collapse. Abs hug the spine. Think of making that leg longer as it lifts up. Squeeze. Lift good. Take it up and down. Good. Four more, then we're gonna hold it. Lift and lower. Last two, we got it. Now take it up as high as you can. Flex your foot. Give me that little lift. So we're pulsing, pressing the energy out through that back heel. Good. Keep your upper body nice and solid. Make sure you're not leaning on that chair. Keep the core engaged. Good, now are we ready? We're gonna point and flex the foot, bend the knee to your elbow. Point, flex, point, flex. Really push back through the heel. Point it to the side, flex it behind. Press. So by bringing it to the side here, we're gonna engage those obliques through the front side of that torso, yes. Press. Keep going, come on. Push back. Excellent. Now, hold it back there. Bend your knee to the floor, heel to the ceiling. Let's make that circle. Eight, seven, six, five. Lift it as high as you can. Four, three. We're gonna do two more, then we're gonna reverse it. Oh yeah, we gotta go the other way. Reverse. Eight, seven, six. I'm burning right here with you. Five, four. We're gonna stretch three and two more. One more. Oh my goodness, stretch it out. Standing leg is on fire, two. Stretch and breathe. Awesome job, you guys. Good, let's take a breather here. We've got the lower body on fire. Let's work on the upper body a little bit. Just gonna move my chair over slightly. Are you with me? Are you cursing me for that lower body work? We feel it, Peanut is exhausted from watching that. Okay, so we've got our weights. We're gonna start focusing a little bit more on the upper half. So let's start by opening up the chest, working on that upper back and the backs of the arms. So just give me a little side to side tap here just to keep it in motion. And we're gonna come forward onto that standing leg. Just give me a nice solid lunge position. I'm gonna turn my back toes slightly out, bend that front knee right over the foot. Arms, we're gonna open out to the sides and I want the ends of the weights to go to the ceiling. So we're gonna open out and now we're gonna push back. Open side, push back. So you're gonna use your upper back, now the backs of the arms, and still down the sides of the back. Squeeze, nice long line from your back heel out through the crown of your head. Push, open side. Push back, open side, you got it. Press and open. Press and open, that's it. Keep on going, we're going with light weights because we do lots of repetitions. Two more here. Last one like this. Now keep your arms up. Just bend your elbows. You're gonna give me a little bit of a bend and push back. Think of sending your knuckles to the wall back behind you. See if you can maybe lunge a little deeper. Press, press. So watch the difference. The arms don't have time to come all the way in. They press, press. It's a little bit of a bend in the backs of those arms. Don't let your elbows drop. 
Squeeze it tight. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and breathe. Extend the front leg. Turn towards me. Let's stand in that nice wide second position. Now, working through the chest, arms up and the shoulders. We're gonna hug the arms together. So imagine you're giving a beach ball a nice giant hug here. Squeeze it in. Good, now let's add our grand plie. Take it down, open out. You gotta keep those legs moving, right? Squeeze and press. Keep that nice length in your spine. Hug those arms together. Now if at any point the dumbbells get too heavy, set them down, use just your arms. Press up, good. Very nice, give me two more like this. Excellent, now take it down and just pulse. Arms are gonna be forward. Lift your right heel off the floor, squeeze. Switch to the left. So we're giving those arms just a little bit of a break. Back to the right, squeeze. Back to the left, and pulse. Now both heels and both arms are gonna work together. Looks like this, we press forward, pull back. Forward, pull back. Scoop, pull. So we're holding that grand plie. We're doing a little releve, lifting the heels. You're scooping forward, using the chest to the front of the shoulders, but then you're pulling back, drawing the elbows behind the body. Give me eight more. Seven, six, we feel this everywhere, right? Five, and four, three, come on, we have two more. Don't quit, last one. Hold the weights at your sides, lift your heels. Give me eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your heels, my legs are shaking too. Step tap, take a deep breath. We did it. Now we get to do that rear fly and press back on the other leg. So we're gonna set up that nice long lunge first. Get ready, are you ready, Peanut? Here we go, I'm gonna lunge to you. Bending that front knee, turning the back heel out. Hinge forward. Ready, we open to the side. We press back. We open side, we push back. She had to change her viewpoint. Press back. Good, squeeze to the upper back. Push with the backs of those arms. Press. Open side. Push it back, you got it. Track that front knee over your ankle. Never going past our toes here. Check that you're not slouching or rounding through your spine. Keep that chest open for me. We got four more sets. Also the neck, keep it long. Chin is connected to your chest. Don't look up. Two, one more, then we're gonna hold the arms back. Ready? Bend and extend through those arms. Press, press, that little micro bend. Accent is out, out, out. Push out through your knuckles. Keep those elbows up. Hold that lunge, I know your legs are screaming. Mine are too. Push, push. Squeeze. Stay with me. Four, three, oh my goodness. Two, and one. Take it up. Just breathe. Come center. We're gonna steady the feet. We're gonna change up the arms just a little. Instead of hugging the beach ball in front of the chest, we're gonna hug it overhead. Steady your feet, arms out. Bring it up, bring it out. Now, keep the beach ball slightly in front of you so you can kind of see it out of the corners of your eyes as your arms come up and down. We never wanna let those arms go behind the head. What do you think, can we add the grand plie in? Yeah, let's do it. Squeeze and down. You can take it out if you need to. Just hang with me as long as you can. Lift and lower. Press good. Squeeze, very nice. Lift. Good. And up. 
Tuck those knees, keep them right out over those toes. Four more. Three, two. Now let's keep the arms overhead. Pulse that plie. Lift your left heel first. Switch to the right. Good, so we're gonna change this up. We're gonna use both heels again, but we're gonna do a little pull down through the back. Looks like this. Down, up, pull, lower the heels as your arms reach overhead. Pull, reach. So you can hear my voice. My heart rate is elevated, right? So this is a cardio toning move. We're getting two for one right here. Working the whole body together. Squeeze and pull. Four more, come on. Four, three, two. Now, hold it up. Balance, pulse it for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, we did it. Great job, you guys. Okay, let's grab our chair while we breathe. Who thought that would be so challenging, huh? So, turn it in. You can set your weights on the floor for now. We'll come back to those guys later. We're gonna do a little plank off of the chair. So, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Walk your feet back, abs in tight. This is why you want a sturdy chair. We don't want it to slide anywhere. Now we're gonna take the front leg, drawing the knee up, two, three, extend it back. In, focus on those abs. Now let's get even deeper into the abs. We're gonna round into the knee, extend, open the chest. Curve the spine, hollow your belly into your back. Give me a little change and adjustment to that upper body, but your arms are strong and extended the entire time. Squeeze, two, three, and lift. Give me two more here. Good, one more here. Great job, let's take a little breather. Lower the heels, press back, take a nice little stretch. Just straighten your legs as best you can here. Breathe. Good. Now, we're going to rise up onto the balls of the feet. And I want you to shift your weight forward into the chair. Come back onto the balls of the feet. Squeeze your inner thighs. Shift forward. Abs get tighter. So we're going in and out of that plank position. Stay on releve. Good. Up. Now we're gonna make this more of a stretch. I want you to go ahead and lower your hips towards the chair. Push back. Good, so think of this as kind of like an up dog and then a down dog, but on releve. Keep your heels touching if you can. So you're gonna squeeze through your inner thighs. Two more. Inhale. Use your abs to push back. Exhale, last one back and forth. Exhale, press. Keep the heels together. Now, just give me a little releve. Keep the chest pressing back to the thighs. Relax your head between your hands. Your arms, I should say. Eight, seven, six, five. We want to feel the calves tomorrow. Hold it. Good. Lower your heels, stretch them out. I think we're ready for the other side. So we're gonna do that knee pulse with the other leg. Are you ready? So shift the hands, come forward, lift your front knee. Just do the leg first. Two, three, extend back. Make sure your shoulders are over your palms here. Round, two, three, and back. Really scoop your abs in tight. Extend, in, two, use the abs, reach. And back, beautiful, in. Two, three, and reach. Couple more. Last two. One more. In. Great job. Okay. Stretch back. Breathe. Relax. 
Okay, walk your hands just a little further forward so we have room to shift. Up to releve, shift to up dog. Back, down dog, stand releve, heels together. Back, open the chest. Now use your abs to really press back into that elevated down dog. So this is a little dynamic stretch, active recovery for us. Couple more, arch, extend. Peanut is a permanently in down dog. One more. Take it back. Let's go for those releves eight times. Here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Just go ahead and walk your hands towards the floor. You can bend your knees more if you need to. Let's roll up through that spine. Just open your toes into that natural first position. And we're gonna take a little extension back. Front arm comes back with you. Open, go to the back, extend. So look back over your shoulder, make this graceful, like you haven't been torturing your body for the last 20 minutes or so. Press your hips forward. You do this every day with a smile on your face, right? Extend. Give me one more. Just make it feel good. Last one. Press back. Great job, guys. Okay. So let's do upper and lower together. Coming back, we're going to use the chair. We're going to pick up one of those light weights. So I want you to step forward with your back foot. Same hand goes to the back of your chair or whatever you're using for your bar. Back foot is pointed. We're gonna take the arm under and then we're gonna open up. Take it down, open up. Now bend that standing leg and if you can, as that arm comes under, you're gonna lift that back leg. It looks like this. Extend up, lift the back leg, reach. So snake it under, and then I'm gonna turn my torso and try to look up to that opening arm. So don't let that elbow bend too much on that lifting arm. Stay soft, reach it up good, take it down, and open, and down. We're gonna do two more just like that. Reach under, lift up, last one here. Great job. Now we're gonna lift the leg, pitch forward, bend your elbow in. We're gonna extend the arm and bend the knee together. Looks like this. So imagine you're gonna try and touch your heel with the weight. You're not actually gonna touch them, but you're reaching back. Front arm is solid on the back of your chair, but not collapsing into it. Squeeze and extend. So we're getting the hamstring on that curl. Everything is working. Core, bottom leg, curling leg, arm, those triceps again, why not? Good. Give me eight more just like that, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, last four. Come on, we got this. Four. Three, two, last one. Ooh, great job. Let's take it to the other side. So take a minute, switch hands, change your leg. So we're just gonna start with that reach under and open up. Reach under and open up. What do you think, Peanut? You wanna try this move? No, okay. Can we add the leg? As you reach under, lift it. Lower, look up. Inhale, don't forget to breathe on top of everything else that's going on. I know it's a lot to think about. Now, can you keep your back foot on the floor the whole time? Absolutely. Maybe the second or third time you try this workout, you add it in later. Totally up to you. Under and open, last four, here we go and reach, three, lift, give me two more, 
Last one. Great job. Let's take it in. Bend your elbow, lift the leg, curl and reach for it. So try to bring your chest almost parallel to the floor here. My standing knee is bent. Reach back for your heel. So you use the support of the chair, but you don't hold on to it for dear life, right? Find your center on your own. Just use it for a little assistance. Last eight, here we go. Eight, seven, keep that knee up. Six, five, don't let it drop behind you. Four, three, let's do two more. Last one. Oh boy, come on up. Great job, you guys. All right, let's set the weights to the side. You can actually get rid of your chair now. I'm gonna move mine out of the way. So we're gonna keep the weights. Just put them over to the side. And let's just kind of shake everything out a little bit. Get the blood flowing after all that cardio. I mean, all that toning. Now we're gonna do some cardio. Okay, so we're breathing. We're good. We're gonna do a little crossover step. It's one, cross, step, cross. So give me a nice big wide step here. Side, cross over, side, cross over. Yes, the upper body's coming. Looks like this. Out, tap, out, tap. Be careful if your mat is slippery from your sweat, like mine is. Don't want you to fall. Good. Now, can we make that tap a brush? Tap, brush, tap, brush. So you're gonna cross the leg over, use your inner thigh, sweep it out. Yep, now, you knew this was gonna come in here, right? If you want, give me a plie, grand plie, sweep across. Optional. Lift. You can kick a leg up higher if you got the flexibility, and you can do it in the same amount of time. Up to you. Reach, lower. Good, nice, last three, two, one more, hold and tap, breathe it out, relax, you're doing great, let's square up to that right foot, good, now just give me a little swing, forward, back, shift the weight, yeah, so just like you did before, lift through the leg and the foot. So really think, pitch forward, open up. Get the heart rate up again. Yeah. Swing it out, loosen up the joints, loosen up the muscles. I know they're a little tired. Four more, three more, two more, and one. Tap and hold. Let's turn it around to the other side. Good. Adding that arm, front arm, open up. So make sure it comes all the way up to the outside of your ear. Add that lift off whenever you can. Swing it. Good. Just try to make it as fluid and as graceful as you can. If that means you gotta keep your toe on the floor here, make it a little smaller, you know that works. Press. And let's breathe. Good, so I'm gonna come back to parallel. Just turning the knees and toes in, taking a little breather. We're gonna change our view, and I want you to face your mat if you're on one. Just give me a side to side, toe tap, keeping it moving. Check in with that posture. Good. Bring your feet together for me. Parallel position, sitting back into chair pose. Now we're gonna bring the arms overhead, making that circle. 
squeeze your inner thighs. Keep that nice long line from your tailbone through the crown of your head. Pulse, two, three, stand up, back. Now, when we stand, we need to push your hips forward. Open your chest, take it down, two, three. Ah, just like a nice stretch for the spine. Open your heart to the sky. Press up, hinging forward, check those knees. We want them behind your toes, as always. Press up, four more. Deep breath in as you stand, three. Ready, inhale, two more. Last one, back. Now open it up, hold it here. Extend back a little further, opening your arms. Bring your arms back overhead. Give me that port de bra that we did in the beginning. Open side, flat back for as long as you can. Round forward, soften your knees to get your hands flat against the floor. Ooh, doesn't that stretch feel good? Let's walk it out nice and slow to a plank position. Position your hands right under your shoulders. Squeeze your heels together. Now, don't sink into your wrist. This is how we prevent wrist pain. Almost grip the floor with your fingertips, like your Spider-Man climbing up the side of a building. Push away from the ground with your chest and your arms. We don't want to put all the body weight into the wrist. Push away from the floor. Squeeze your abs into your back. Inner thighs squeeze together. Gently and softly lower your knees to the ground. Sit back to child's pose. Just take a stretch. Great work. So let's transition from here. We're gonna lay on to the back. And it's time to find our weights again. So let's pick those guys up. I just move my mic to the side. So find those light weights again. We're gonna lay back. I want you to point and extend your front leg out and you're gonna keep it right at the ankle level of the back bent leg. Arms are opened to the sides, elbows are soft. Now we're gonna lift up for two counts, hugging the arms together, squeezing that extended leg, chest up to the knee. Inhale down and open, exhale up and round. Down for two, just to the ankle, don't touch the floor with the leg. Now as you curl up, bring that chin in towards your chest. Try to avoid looking up to the ceiling so that that neck can just kind of naturally relax and the tension goes into your abs. Squeeze your knees together and lower down. Exhale and inhale, good. Lift and lower, just give me one more here. Nice work. Now, let's give the chest and arms a little break. You're gonna bend your elbows in, pushing down into the floor. Bring your feet a little closer to your body. Come up into that releve position. We love that releve. So, we're gonna lift up into a bridge, pressing down with the elbows. Come up, tap down. So keep your heels lifted. Press down with your back muscles. Elbows are gonna press really firmly into the floor to help lift the hips. Heels stay elevated. Squeeze, lift and lower. Good. Now take it up, just give me a little pulse. Lift, lift, go as high as you can. Your knees are squeezing together. Feel this in my inner thighs, my hamstrings, my glutes, my back, my calves, everything. Keep lifting a little higher. Come on, stay with me. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah, slowly lower, release your heels. It's time to do the other leg. Extend that back leg out, up for two, down for two. Exhale, and back. Curl up over the top of the rib cage, look towards those legs, hug your arms together, release it down. Now your legs should be in constant contact with each other here. Don't let them separate. Really squeeze. And back. A you know, big strong exhale as you curl up. Inhale as you come down. We always forget the inhale part, right? It's so important. You gotta take the air back in so we can let it back out. Three more. 
last two. One more, here we go. Great job, let's go back to those bridges one more time. Knees together, releve, walk those feet in a little closer. Just gonna be the full up and down. Press down, squeeze through the back side of your body. Good. Now for the pulses, we're gonna add one more layer to this, just in case we weren't challenged enough the first time. Extend your front leg up to the ceiling, give me a pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch legs. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. Great job. Set your weight to, your, to the side of your mat. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Walk on up to seated. And let's turn over so we're lying face down now on the floor. So it's time to work the back side of the body. Right, Peanut? So you're gonna keep your feet wider than hip width apart, shoulder blades back and together. I'm gonna lift the chest and the legs. Oh no, I've awakened the beast. Exhale. The licking monster is coming out. Lift your chest, lift both legs. Hands are on the floor. They're lightly supporting you. I know, go back to your mat. You're being so good. Exhale and inhale. Please don't put that in my face. And down. Pull the shoulder blades back and together. And down, peanut. No! Chin to your chest. Two more, guys. I'm still counting. Up. And down, one more, not my ear, not my ear. Now hold that lift for me. Your hands are on the floor, hold your heels up. Let's squeeze the heels together. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Stop it. Double time with the heels, click them together. Squeeze your inner thighs, lift your chest. No, Mickey, no. Here we four, three, two, release back. Hips to heels, stretch it out. Stretch it out, peanut. Yeah, let's work our abs. We're gonna finish up with the abdominals. So, let's take this from a seated position. No, darling, no. So we're gonna sit on our seats. So I want you to think about getting to where the back pockets of your pants might be. Knees are together, and I want you to lift one hip at a time. Come center and switch. So we're gonna work the waist, side to side. My hands are light on the floor for now. Now I want you to start to reach that same arm out. Again, giving it that graceful ballet a touch. Uh-huh. Now, if you can, Extend that same outside leg as your arm. Now, that might not feel good for you, so keep the knees bent if you need to. Reach it out if you can. Reach, good. Woo! Boy, this is giving my piriformis a little massage too. It's like foam rolling. We got an added benefit here. Working out the knots in our glutes. And we're working the abs, how about that? Let's do five more. Four, three, two, last one. Great job. Cross your legs, sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna keep working those obliques, but we're just gonna take a little stretch and contract to the side. Come out and over to the right. Pull up. So I want you to really think about that shoulder pulling down to your hip. I'm gonna let my outside hand just lightly tap on the floor, but keep that concentration in those side obliques. We stretch them, we contract them. Out and over, pull it down. Good. Last four right here. Two more. Now let's hold and stretch, open out. Come through to the other side. Ready, let's reverse it. Out and over, pull down. Good. 
So we're coming to the end of our workout here. And before we head to our cool down, in case you have a little more energy and you want to continue on, now that you're on the floor, you might want to try our floor bar routine next. So I'll put the link up here for you if you want to go right into that. Just finish this set with me and then you can move on to another workout. Or stay here with me and let's wrap up with a stretch. Good. Nice. Okay, let's just walk it forward. Opening up the hips and the glutes. Relax your head. Come in from here. Let's turn on to the hands and the knees. You stretching with us? Tuck your toes under, round the spine. Inhale, exhale, arch it. One more round. Exhale, big arch. Now let's lift the hips up and back. Press your heels to the floor. Give me a little downward dog, walking the dog, pedaling the heels. Drop both heels towards the floor. Let's walk the feet into the hands. Good, just hold that forward fold. Slowly roll up through that spine, soft knees. Interlace your fingers behind you, roll your shoulders down your back. Lift your heart towards the sky, open up that chest. And in true ballet fashion, take a little curtsy. Thank you guys. Before we go, I want to say a very special thank you to Motion Tracks who graciously provided the soundtrack to our workout today. So please show them some love. Go visit their website. It's motiontracks.com. They have tons of free downloadable music for workouts, but they also have some great coached albums. I've done a couple on there for your treadmill workouts, your cardio routines, whatever you want to do. They've got the music and the coach to guide you through it. So please go check out their website, motiontracks.com. Tell them thank you for giving us music. We really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.